just looking around today, having what's called a scout. Scout about. Yeah, you, know, you can't always just jump straight onto something and just film and understand how things are connecting. So I've got all that remains of the Chatterton section of canal. So this one's led off into, well it's Lower Chatterton. There's Upper and Lower Chatterton. It's quite a big area. But this was the Branch Canal. I once said it was, mustn't have been very successful, it was hard to navigate. It looks like this is the one that went out of use earlier than any of the others. Just show you, it's, once again we have the pebbles and cobbles. And if you look there, it ramps down so you could probably put things in, but that's new. So they carried on with this little branch for loading boats long after it closed down. That's probably why it closed down. Uh, there were very good rail links in this area from like 1840 onwards. So you didn't really need it. Okay, we just passed Lock 74 and we're in Chatterton. As I said, we're going to head into the Manchester city centre. Um, try and get some shots of fish as we go down. But there'll be just cut scenes in between. Okay, so next stop, we've got Swing Bridge. leaving Chatterton towards Manchester. We'll see where some big industry used to be, namely British Aerospace. But beyond that, I'm just looking around, getting ready to film. this is where the railway line did used to cross over okay but no longer that'd be the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway Company by the way so we're heading into the city centre now everybody wants to be on film so you know it's people's voices raised I'm not going to edit them out because it's summertime, isn't it? Whilst Manchester was once a very industrial area, and in fact, some of these units that we're about to see along here is where they developed and built the Concorde, the airplane, British Airways, collaborated with French airlines, built right here. That site has now moved. And that company no longer exists. The remains of really strong bridge. Capable of taking quite a lot of weight. Like I say, there's iron works and aeroplanes. There's big engineering and civil engineering things going on in this area. Foundries and big presses. So this particular bridge I thought was a swing bridge. It's actually a hydraulic bridge. It's like I say, it's strong because lorries and big trucks will go over here nowadays. But it lifts, um, I think it's about a metre. It'll be a hydraulic jack. So it lifts a metre and canal barge can pass underneath. So this will be a place where an old stone bridge has been removed. Incidentally, the LYR line that was behind us used to also cross a bridge. So there's two bridges that have changed place and a new one is also there. Okay, Manchester, UK. As a film as canal, it's becoming more and more evident. It's not just for boats. It's actually used to channel water to a lot of the major places. So whatever we have down there, seeing a little aqueduct over the river, 
and a bridge and then this goes into it as an overflow and it even had gates, sluice gates at one point there you go help drain the canal or keep it less full could possibly be something to do with airplanes because they used to build them here so I assume at first they may have used this to float parts along but that would be before Concord of course but those big works there may have been iron works and when you put canals barges full of iron the water would go up or down quite a lot so possibly it's to reduce it in a, you know very quickly but I'm not really sure it seems to flow into some form of river, it's just not river irk. So it may be the medlock. We'll look into that further. I know the Mersey flows South Manchester, so I think that will be the medlock, river medlock. I'll confirm that before we finish. Before we get to Manchester, don't worry. So it's another flat section without lock gates we're on and we've got most of the interesting bits incidentally that bridge lifts up in the air so canal barges could go under it it looked like a railway level crossing but that's what it was so i'm going to stroll down keep going into manchester city center don't know if i'll make it in this movie it depends how much there is to film it's going to get busier as we get there and the Ashton Canal joins at some point. Interesting little bits like this barge, which is full of rocks. Which have fallen away from the bank here. So that barge is repairing sections that are still falling. It's very old but they do keep it in as best prepare as they can. So we're heading Manchester in that direction. Also another interesting section the bridge that goes over the M68 Ring Road and the canal is culverted from the other side there. I've crossed that bridge and I'm about to go down this way. which brings us here so bridge 77 which is the modern version obviously the motorway goes through here now and the path's different so as I say I'm scouting so I'll get back onto a more professional mode on the next filming it's just that the motorway ran through so it's mainly culverts and concreted creations so probably follows pretty much the way it did but it'll attach at the other side of this bridge so from the culvert sections back into the much older sections so we've seen examples of that further up and now you can just tell that we're back into the old-fashioned part of the canal show you one of the old bridges again So it's easy to forget that just like 200 metres behind us is the motorway and also Broadway which is Bolden into Manchester Town Centre Main Road which is a busy stretch. So I think today we'll reach a point where we get to a lock and from there I should be able to get to the end of the canal. Um, we have covered another three miles so I should be able to do it in two videos but I should be able to do it in one stretch. As we just look round it's like we've gone back in time and the brickwork and stonework zooming on that.
as you probably heard that's the electric line train that runs all the way over to Selby Bridge also that's the one that pops into viewing Castleton and at Ketra all the time it's the same train we could hear it it's actually to our left hand side this is the direction to Manchester and once again it's very flat there was only one lock gate and there was all the youths sat on it when I first started so I couldn't get footage of that to be fair so we will get a lock gate at some point it looks like I may on, end on the lock gate it's a good little scout but to be honest with you it's quite an empty section it wouldn't have been and I will find out more about the areas that we walk through try and find Ashton Canal joining so that's the electric line that crosses over a more modern steel bridge these days this would have been a canal bank at one point and then I'll just show you the walls our old stone and we should get the train maybe not so that's the Oldham to Rochdale branch of the Metrolink it was originally the Lancashire Railway Company but I'm not going to give up too soon I said it should get very interesting very soon and I was hoping it would so this is where it's going to get very cool that's a word I'd say because we're going to get the modern world all wrapped around a 220 year old piece of industry so we're down at block 65 Got a feeling we're near the Ashton Canal, Ashton on the line. And but just typical examples again of the same structure. So this one's not been updated with concrete or chains in any way. It's even got the old stone bridge at the other end. Once again. These completely match the ones we've seen all the way up in Lisselborough. Exactly the same size. The gates at the top are much smaller. So they can't, like a stone sill. But obviously it has to go all the way down at the other end. Else the boats can't get out. But that's a repair job. Canal and River Trust. Three, four, five. That must be the order the planks of wood go in basically when they've re put them back in place. Look at this one, this looks really. So, this is what Manchester used to look like. So, if you live in Manchester now, this is how it was. It's even got the make, the age of it there. Yeah, move on now because we've got that. It drops down. As I say, there's a mill at the side, as there always is. Got more modern bridges and mills further down. So we're down at lock 68. 